What a great way to end 2019 and start 2020 with a brand new stamp set featuring our favorite little Brentwood Owl. Here it is, it is called Brentwood Owl Let's Go Camping S'mores. It's a 4x4 clear photopolymer stamp set that is available at jessicalinoriginal.com. Again, my name is Jessica and I'm so glad you're here today. So what I did was I went ahead and stamped it onto the stamp set and I'm going to use the Brothers Scan and Cut to cut it out. We don't offer die cuts, um, but using the Brother Skin and Cut, you can go in and cut out the silhouettes. If you have a Cricut, we are thinking about adding the um, files where it'll be a cut file. If you're interested in that, comment down below so that I know. And if enough people do, I'll definitely put it out there to make it available for you. So the first thing I did was I just went ahead and stamped up the page so you could see the full set, one. And then two, I'm gonna run it through the Brother Scan and Cut and allow it to do its go ahead and find the outline and then it'll just cut it all for me. And for this set, I decided to go ahead and use my brother's scan and cut and have it cut right up to the edge. Now there is a way that if you wanted to have it cut like an extra 0 .04 or more, you could do that. But I decided I just wanted it to cut out the imagery. And what I love is that my images have a very crisp cut and there's a lot of lines and the Brother Scan and Cut can find all those. So I really like that. And again, if you decide you are interested in the Cricut, just tell me down below or toss me an email at jessicalinoriginal.com and I will definitely make those available. So you can see it's just nicely cutting everything out. This is my favorite part when you take this damp right off the page and it's perfectly cut. Don't get me wrong, fussy cutting, not a lot of fun, but if I have to, I've done it before. Now from here, I wanted to go ahead and I'm going to build up a scene. So I thought what I would do is I'll get all these images off the page and then in the Brother Skin and Cut, it comes with a bunch of cuts already. One of them is a pine tree. So I made it two sizes. There's a larger one, which is about two and a half inches tall. And then I shrunk it down and did another one at about one and a half inches tall. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out two of each of the size, and then we'll just put those off on the side. From there, I'm going to want to go ahead and use the default circle, which again, the Brother Scan and Cut comes with a bunch of defaults, or if you have die cuts, you could do that at this point as well. So you could cut out some pine trees like we just did, or uh, one of my favorite sets is a cat scrappiness circle. If you um, have that or another circle set, you could cut out the size circle you want. I want it to be about 3.2 inches, so a little over three inches, and I want it to be slightly off center to the right. So that's why I cut it on a full piece. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take craft paper and I'm gonna make the whole front part of the card craft paper.
Once I've got it on there, I'm gonna go ahead and actually glue it down. Right now, I'm just kind of testing out the cuts that I did. Think about it like sewing, right? Measure twice, cut once, because sometimes fabric is entirely too expensive. So same kind of thing. Cutting out these trees, now I cut extra just in case, but you can see I'm kind of going, eh, there's some space showing, how do I want this to line up? So I truly kind of want to make it organic, but I at least want to have an idea of where I'm going. Once I have everything cut that I like, I'm going to go ahead and foam riser the back of the white page with the circle that I cut. What I'm going to do is I want to add some depth, and I think by cutting the white circle and then we're going to build the scene sort of in and around, it'll make more sense in a moment, but I'm going to use foam risers to bring that white circle up to the top. Then I decided to go and pull out an olive green and add some shadow all the way around the pine trees that we cut because obviously they are a very bright green and I want to make sure they have some shadows. So I'm using the paint end of my Copic marker just to kind of outline them a little bit but I didn't want to do it in black or a really dark color because I didn't want it to be harsh. I kind of wanted to look natural and almost like I colored it the same way we'll be coloring Brentwood Owl in just a moment. And as you just saw, see that I was playing around with where I wanted to lay out because I don't want the pine tree to have any of the brown craft paper in the background. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna color him in using Copic markers and I will do my best to show you the colors on the lid as we go, but just know sometimes I couldn't. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna do it in fast forward because otherwise it wouldn't take entirely too long. So let's color Brentwood. I 
I get a lot of questions about what is Brentwood Owl's standard default colors. They are only three colors, super easy. They are E33 in Copic Sand, and that's the darker reddish brown. Then his eyes and his neck are YR00, which is a powder pink. And then his beak and his feet are W7, which is warm gray. Now I'll use other shades of brown to come in and do the highlight and shadow. Sometimes I'll use gray, but I've been really trying to make an effort to use colors in the same family. I feel like it gets a much better, richer tone, but those are his defaults. And as you saw during this card making process, I've been building up from the lightest shade up and trying to use colors in the same family to try and do all of the shadowing rather than focusing on grays or blacks. I think it just sort of brings in a little more dimension for the card and I'm really happy with the way this turned out. In person, this card looks very three dimensional which is so much fun knowing that it's just a stamped image that's flat. So we've got a couple of pieces starting to kind of go together. I went ahead and put Brentwood right in front of the trees. And again, I made sure that the trees were perfectly underneath. I used foam risers for all of this because I wanted to make sure, again, now we're building the lowest level, which is that craft brown paper, the white circle, which is up one layer, the trees which is another layer and a half and then on top of that we've got Brentwood camping with the cute little bear. Now the sentiment is included in the stamp set and I love fun uh, sentiments that you can use from cards. This one says and so the adventure begins and I think that's so much fun you know I think that's what 2020 is all about. For me personally 2019 was an okay year it truly for me was a year about kind of getting back to who I was, what I want to do, where I want to go with my stamp company, and I am so excited for some of the things I've got coming in 2020. Um, things I've talked about for a long time, but I think I have the support that I finally need to be able to get some assistance on actually moving some of these projects forward, and I can't wait to share all of that with you. So if you love what I'm doing, please subscribe down below. I'd love to have you join and be part of this family. It is a wonderful community that we've been building here full of great card makers, people that are inspired and want to be inspired, people that have inspired me. And I'm really appreciative that all of you are here. Now I did next use a, oh, what is that called? It's a Signo Uniball, it's a white ink pen. And I drew in by hand a couple of little stars and some little dots just to kind of, uh, just sort of make it feel like a night sky, but not necessarily be a night sky, if that makes any sense. Once I had that in place, I think we're really close to being done. Again, don't forget to sign the back of your card. Don't forget to do that. Super important because, you know, it's your art, it's your creation. And if somebody finds this card down the road, how fun is that that they'll go, oh yeah, Jessica did make that card or you made that card or whatever. And this stamp set, again, it is available currently on the JessicaLynnOriginal.com website. Be sure to head over and pick it up today. 
we ship pretty darn fast. It took a little bit to get this one in stock, but it is available now, so be sure to head over and pick it up. It will also be at one of our vendors, which is gonna be, hold on, let me just take a look here. She already picked them up. And it is gonna be at Not Too Shabby. So if you like shopping there, the stamp set will be at Not, uh, Not Too Shabby very, very soon. So be sure to check that out. One of the tricks I have at the very end of my card making is to go back in with one more Copic because now the inks have sort of settled into the paper and just toss in one more color somehow. And I really think by adding that little extra brown, it really just makes the card pop. I am in love with this card. If it you saw it in person, it is so three-dimensional. I'm really proud of the job that I did with it. And I love it. I'd love to see your version of a card like this, or I'd love to see what you create with this stamp set. Again, my name is Jessica Lynn. I'm the owner and artist for JessicaLynnOriginal.com. I would love to have you visit our stamp company. Be sure to take a look around. And don't forget to subscribe, comment below, and like.